Welcome into Steelers Talk by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Will Scott, breaking down the newest Pittsburgh Steelers news and rumors. But before we get into today's show, I want to ask our trivia question of the day. What year were the Pittsburgh Steelers founded? Go down in the comments. Let me know what you think, and we're going to reveal the answer a little bit later on in the show. Let's get into today's show by starting with Mitchell Trubisky, new Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback. They go and sign him after he's a backup with the Buffalo Bills for a year. Obviously, was the starter in Chicago his first couple of seasons in the league. And we do have more contract details. And, you know, normally when you sign a quarterback like Trubisky, one that you might be a little bit unsure of, incentives are going to be huge playing time incentives especially significant. So 60 or more time on the field, he 60% or more time on the field, he gets a $1 million bonus. The question is, will he get that benchmark? The Steelers drafted Kenny Pickett in the first round of the NFL draft. Now, with first-round quarterbacks, you can see a Trey Lance situation where they wait for a year, they're a backup for a year, and then they start. Or you can be like a Mac Jones and start in week one. So that's going to be a big question with Kenny Pickett. Will he come in right away and start? I do believe there will be a quarterback competition in camp between Mitchell Trubisky and Kenny Pickett. I don't think they're just going to hand the job to Trubisky. He's got to go and win that job. But we knew that this contract would have stipulations like this. And when they brought in Mitchell Trubisky weeks before the NFL draft, I think a lot of us expected the Steelers to draft a quarterback, and I think the Steelers' front office also expected to draft a quarterback, hence why this incentive would be in the contract. Taking a look at Trubisky, what he did as a starter in the National Football League. Roller coaster first couple of seasons in the league with Chicago. He did take the Bears to the playoffs. He was a one-time Pro Bowler. That 2018 season, one that I think we look back on and And maybe that kind of shows some promise for Trubisky in Pittsburgh. We'll have to see. But the bottom line is he was in a poor situation in Chicago. He was not put in this position there with Matt Nagy to win. Now you give him Mike Tomlin. You give him some talent around him on this Pittsburgh Steelers team. Let's see what he can do if he has the chance. Kenny Pickett might be the starting quarterback. Will Trubisky play more than 60% of the snaps this year? It's the pinned comment on today's video. You're going to be hit with an ad break here in a few seconds. When you are, go down, type your wife for yes, or type your in for no. So with the 2022 NFL Draft now in the rearview now in the rearview mirror, it's time to look at the 2023 early mock drafts. So we're excited about this already here on Chat Sports. So here is what the mock drafts have the Steelers taking so there was a bleacher report mock draft put out for 2023 as well as a todd mcshay espn mock draft the steelers mock draft for bleacher report had them taking peter skaronsky an offensive tackle out of northwestern espn's mock draft had them taking paris johnson jr an offensive tackle out of ohio state so a couple of big 10 guys here that they have the steelers taking Obviously, offensive tackle, uh, a team need, and ESPN and Bleacher Report believes that they will go tackle in the next year draft. Before we get into more of that, go get your Kenny Pickett jerseys. I'm excited about Kenny Pickett. We're going to have Pickett to Pickens this season for the Steelers. Go to chatsports.com slash Pickett. Hometown hero, man. He played for the Pitt Panthers. Now he's playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Go and support Kenny Pickett by getting your jersey at chatsports.com slash Pickett. And I think these mock drafts are trying to tell us something, right, that the Steelers uh, look will probably look to address that offensive line next season. And there's still a couple of good offensive linemen left in free agency. You never know what could happen in terms of that. Darrell Williams still available in free agency. So when you look at this offensive line, they believe that they need to address the offensive tackle position 
Both mock drafts have the Steelers taking a, a tackle. Bleach Report, Peter Skaronsky, offensive tackle Northwestern. Paris Johnson, offensive tackle from Ohio State. First round selections for the Steelers. That is the projection. And when you're looking at a guy like Dan Moore Jr., right, who's going to be protecting either Trubisky's or Pickett's blindside next season, he gave up seven sacks last season. His PFF grade below average, 16 games played. He was the primary starter at the left tackle position last season for the Steelers. Going to be interesting, but if he does not step up this year, do not be surprised if Pittsburgh drafts an offensive tackle in next year's draft. What do you think, though? Will the Steelers draft a left tackle in the 2023 NFL draft? Type D for draft or type P for pass down in the comments. Go down and let me know what you think. The Steelers general manager search rolls on, and the Steelers have interviewed two GM candidates. Let's take a look at all the ones they've interviewed so far. So here's who they've talked to. Omar Khan, who was very much linked to the Houston Texans GM job. In fact, a lot of my Houston friends were rooting for Omar Omar Khan to get that job. Instead, they go with Nick Casario because they are the uh, Houston Patriots. That's what they're trying to do. So Omar Khan did not get the Houston job. He's in the running here for the Pittsburgh job. I think we can all agree that would be a fantastic hire. He's not the only other in-house guy they're looking at, though. Brandon Hunt, director of pro personnel, somebody else that they're looking at. So they've interviewed these five names, all have an impressive resume. I personally want Omar Khan. You look at what he's done. He's had a chance to learn from within this organization. Just promote from within here. Omar Khan is more than qualified to be the new general manager of the Pittsburgh Steelers. The answer to the trivia question, 1933 is the answer. If you let me know down in the comments, give yourself a round of applause. You know, they got those hats that we see them wearing in the locker room, 1933. So I think a lot of us knew the answer just based on those caps that we see the Pittsburgh Steelers wearing. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to Steelers Talk for multiple Steelers videos in a week. We're your one-stop shop for Pittsburgh Steelers news and rumors. This has been Will Scott. Have a great weekend.